go over how to make a short arm cast. We start by placing a stockinet over the forearm and the hand. Make a little hole for the thumb to poke through, and then add another strip of stockinet over the thumb to cover the web space. You can place some tape to secure it so it doesn't shift when you're wrapping with the web roll. When wrapping with the web roll, palpate the radial norlar styloid and wrap thrice around it to keep the bony prominence well padded. Move to the hand and then down the forearm and when you reach the proximal border wrap three times once more as that will be where you will half the edge of your cast. Tear a few strips of web roll and fold them over to place around the thumb as well. In this case I supplemented a few strips of web roll around the metacarpal heads to have a little extra to fold over and keep that edge well padded. I also marked the area of the palmar crease to know how far distal I need to go with the fiberglass. Now we'll begin wrapping the fiberglass. When going around the first web space, I like to cut the fiberglass so that only a thin strip is over the web space to allow the thumb plenty of space to move. When you move proximal, make sure to leave enough space to fall over the web roll later. That way, you'll keep that area well padded. Now it's time to create your mold. The goal is to have more of a flat cast rather than a round one to prevent pronation and supination at the wrist. You also want to flatten the ulnar border and mold it snug to the hand so that the cast isn't loose. Now if you're trying to fix a deformity, you may need a mold that's different than the one I just talked about and will depend on the fracture pattern that you have. Once you're done molding, you will fold over the edges. It's helpful to fluff them out a bit before folding and if you have too much to cut at the sides and that way you'll have an easier time folding the edges. Finally, we'll add another layer of fiberglass. This will secure the stockinette that was flipped over and make the cast a bit stronger. Then cut the edge at the ulnar border so that the patient can see it for some more style points. Now it's time to rub it so that the edge doesn't prop up and you're done.